Good afternoon everyone, uh, welcome back to our channel, the Asian Mechanic Guy and for today uh, we got this uh, 2003 uh, Toyota Corolla CA and complain of uh, this car uh, it his state and it you know uh, it lose power so one day car runs bad and one day uh, the car runs good so it's basically it's an intermittent uh, problem and I'm checking the diagnostic report and there's no code as you can see in here everything is normal but car spotter and it's shaking so well, not really that bad but you can hear it's spotter you hear that so basically what we are going to do is we're just gonna go to the data stream if we don't see any code just wanna see the four cylinder let's go in our monitor and which cylinder is misfiring you know sometimes uh, the misfire is not enough to you know make uh, to make the ECU uh, consider uh, a code but again that's uh, we got cylinder one to four but it's I don't I don't get it why oh as you can see in here this five counts on cylinder number one see that yeah because the car is spotter and actually I did drive the car a while ago and I can feel there's some hesitation it's not that bad though but the customer says one day the car runs really bad but most of the time the, the car runs fine so what we are going to do we'll do the swapping procedure so this is your cylinder number one so basically that's cylinder number one, two, three, four. We're just gonna swap, you know, parts. So we're gonna swap uh, cylinder num injector, I'm uh, injector, uh, ignition coil number one. So probably ignition coil number three. Just want to get, let's uh, switch them. And then let's check the monitor. If the, you know, misfire transfer to, you know, number three. Okay, let's. Let's do that. Let's turn off the car. Alright, so this will be the fastest way to, you know, diagnose. So far, let's just swap, you know, uh, ignition coil. So this will be number one, uh, number two. So this is your number one. Hmm. This. Okay, see this one? It has this cut or crack in here. Not really crack though. Anyway, so this is number three. So this number three, let's put it on number one. They look good. Okay. And this is your number ignition call number one a while ago as you can see it has this thing so let's put it on all right now let's start the car and let's see if that misfire moved to number three 
if you know your ignition coil is bad. Let's go check it. Let's go back. And then okay. Let's see if it goes uh oh so miss far still in number one so it's not the it's not the ignition coil so next thing spark plug see see that so then miss fire so let's do number one so it didn't you know went to number three all right that's fine so next thing that we need to do let's you know let's swap the you can see it do you see it hold on hold on let's swap the spark plug all right let's remove this So check the spark plug. How's this spark plug? Oh well, it's not that bad though. Actually, it's almost brand new. See that? It's in JK. See it? Gotta put it here so you could see it. Number three is not that bad too. This looks brand new. I don't know if they changed this one. Okay, this number three, let's switch it. Okay, that's tight enough. Okay, good. All right. Let's put back. The mission coil. plug has been swapped or switch to one and three now let's start the car all right okay now let's check our monitor I hope that miss power goes to number three so if that happens, uh oh, still in number one. What the heck? It didn't change at all. Still in number one. So what would be our next step? So we already swapped the ignition cord from one to three, and also the spark the spark plug from one to three. But still, the miss misfire stay on number one. So our next step, uh, well, let's see if our injector has, I think it's, well, let's check our injector. So maybe let's swap our injector. So before we swap our injector, let's go find our fuel pump relay here. So all right there, EFI. You can see that? EFI. Uh, 
teman-teman Pede EFI So to really So over here This one And this Double check Hold on let me double check Alright so I did check it So this is your fuel pump relay So far still running So we're just gonna remove it Oh, okay. Car stop right away. So now, let's remove our injector. Okay. So wait here. Sorry, it's getting dark now. So I'm doing this as fast as I can. I'm going to put this one over here. There you go. There you go. All right, you could see it. So this is your injector. Let's remove it. So make sure you have a towel. Hold on, let me check. Okay, you can use this one. You never know it will squirt. So let's remove this. This one and another bolt in here. Let's, let's remove this. Okay. I'm telling you now, so there's still some pressure. Uh oh. You hear that? <laughs> See that? Over here. Cylinder number that's injector number one. So look at the, the fuel squirt. That's why be careful. Use a towel. See that? Anyway, let's remove the connector. Cover it, you never know. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, let's remove the injector. Let's remove the injector. Oh, it's still squirt. Okay, so this is your injector number one. Okay, so injector number one. There's a rubber that's left. It's the rubber. So this is your injector number one, I'll put here. And then injector number two is this. Okay, the rubber. So, all right. This is your injector number two. It's not that bad. It's so. This will be your injector number two, okay? And this is your injector number one. So I'm gonna put injector number one, two to number one. Let's just swap it. Let's do this as fast as we can. It's getting dark. This is your number one. I'll put a number two. Let's see. If, you know, we'll just do the 
swapping. Okay. Okay. Alright then, let's put it back. So I did just swap them. And let's see if there will be a change. Over there. So I swap number one to number two injector. Okay. All right. Now let's put on connect Rego. Really, this one connect over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. See that? Oh boy. Sorry, it's getting dark. Connect door. Okay, what else? And this. Okay. Everything's good. I think so. So injector one was swapped to injector number two. So if the injector one is bad, the MISPA will go in number two. That's basically that it should happen if your injector is bad. Because your your uh, ignition coil in your Spark plug is already good. All right, let's well put back your uh, relay and let's start the car and let's see if the mon our monitor changes. All right. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So if the misfire will move to number two, then the problem is your injector. But so far no misfire. Oh number one is still on zero. Let's wait. Oh, haha, look at that. <laughs> Five. Oh, it's a bad injector. See that? A while ago it was on number one, and then we switched number one cell uh, injector to number two injector. And now we got 15 misfire coming from cylinder number two. So it's a bad injector. Woo! That was fast. So it's not your ignition coil, it's not your spark plug, but your ejector. Okay, I think I'm still have I still have time. Let me just buy an ejector. All right, so I did buy only one. <laughs> Customer had no budget. It's only one. What's that? Injector. I think this is three man. Okay, let's just remove cylin in cylinder. I always say cylinder. Injector. Uh oh. Cell injector number two. This one. This your injector number two. Okay. Some rubber over there. Where does it go? Oh. 
Okay, anyway, I'm not gonna show you anymore the whole thing. I'm just gonna put the reman injector and let's see the you know our monitor. Alright, so we did put a new remanufactured uh, injector here in cylinder number two. So that's the old one. Alright, <laughs> moment of truth. Let's start the car. We are expecting there's no more misfire and there's no more spattering or rough idle. Uh oh, I forgot. <laughs> I think I removed that thing. Oh, yeah. I forgot to put the... Make sure to put on the relay. Otherwise, there's no gas will pump from your gas tank. There you go. Whoa. Whoa. Well, <laughs> looks runs better. Haha, <laughs> let's wait, let's wait. So far, so good. No misfire. I think it's already fixed. Look at it sounds better, it runs better now. Uh, I should recommend the customer to replace all injector but you know because of budget wise look at all zero. <laughs> all right so there you go no more misfire it's all zero so it's a bad injector so if you had any uh, question uh, on this uh, video uh, please uh, comment down below and consider like and subscribe my channel too that's all for today and see you in my next video bye bye